One. Stand with 3D PT. In 2016, I set up this board of 3D print filament samples to see how long they would last outdoors. Uh, this has been on a west facing fence. And um, over the years, um, this board's fallen a few times. Also, I've got new neighbors and they're doing a lot of fence work, so I want to take this down. I'm going to go ahead and retire this experiment after seven years. Um, a lot of the samples have been busted from all the falls, and also they're all pretty much degraded as far as they're going to get before turning into junk. So I'll go ahead and bring this inside, and once I warm up, uh, we'll do an in-depth analysis. And now time for a time lapse. So the first one I'm going to look at is organic PLAs. These all came from organic sources like coffee or beer. So protopasta, three dumb, wound up. So this is a coffee based one. Buzz, which is a beer based filament. And the controls are on top, age ones are on bottom. Color fab cork fill. So this definitely bleached out fairly quickly. Um, and so you could definitely see the difference. And then last is wood fill. And you can see how, again, this wood-based one definitely bleached out. So next I'll cover um, the metal composite PLAs. Uh, so these have some sort of metal powder mixed with PLA to bind them. Uh, so we've got protoposite stainless steel PLAs here. Um, this one's polished and not, and you really can't see tell any difference between the two. Uh, here is mag iron PLA from protopasta. Definitely aged a bit, and the iron rusted out. Color fab copper film. Uh, so here's the control, which was polished, not polished, and the one exposed. So it definitely etched a little bit outside. Uh, bronze film, copper film from uh, color fab. Really not much of a difference between them. Yeah. And last one is Eastern Brass Fill. Um, here's the one, here's the control. These two were exposed, but really apart from us discoloration and darkening, there really isn't much of a difference. And so for all these, these might be good for like interior use or artistic use, but can't really see like these steel and iron ones being used outside. Copper might be useful in your garden. Bronze and brass fill would be good outdoors as well. So this next block is just um, some of the miscellaneous composites. So this is a uh, 3 uh, glass fill. So it's a fiberglass based one. Now, the main sample, or the outdoor sample broke and kind of disintegrated, so I couldn't really find any of it. So compared to control, um, you'd see it's kind of got a, a limish green tint to it. The outdoor sample absolutely does not. So this looks actually close to what fiberglass does after it's been exposed outdoors for years. So this one is protopostic conductive PLA, and you could actually, in theory, print electronics with this, um, embed it into a print if you have a dual extrusion printer. My experience with printing, though, is this stuff is really, really messy, so you really have to clean it up afterwards and really purge your head because the graphite in this likes to stick everywhere. Um, pretty much color-wise, they're just about the same. Uh, this one obviously took a dive and broke, um, but my experience with this and other carbon fibers 
is that they actually survive. And when I say that the PLA or conductive PLA is messy, it's actually got graphite in it. So you could actually print this. And for teachers, I know we'd never have enough pencils, but you could actually print this. Now I think. This is equivalent to like a H, HB black pencil, so it is a harder graphite. But you could actually print these and use these for both electronics or make them into a ergonomic pencil for your students. But it's going to be a hard write or a hard thing to write with. Um, other conduct PLAs I understand are a lot less messy. This, when I printed with it, you had to spend a lot of time cleaning up your printer afterwards. For all the PLAs, um, there's definitely some sun bleaching that goes on with them. Um, the opaque one, this is Isun Decale, 3DD, Prototype Supply, MakerBot, can't remember what that one is. Color fab, so like this definitely bleached out. And on this color fab here, this was transparent and it definitely became more opaque. And here's the glow fill, which still glows in the dark after seven years. So, show you that. So, kind of an oddball on the color fab PLAs are is glow fill. Um, so, top has been inside. Bottom one broke off finally, and you can definitely see that the PLA is degraded a lot inside. Now the question is, does glow fill last a long time outdoors? And the result is, yes, color fab does still glow after seven years outdoors. So TPUs um, are a popular flexible brand of filament. Uh, these are both Ninja Tech. And so this is Ninja Flex. And even after seven years, it's still very flexible. It definitely lost a lot of its color. And the thin parts start curling up. And I think there's a couple little holes in this just from either falling on rocks or some thin spots in the print. So this is Ninja Flex, and this is Semi Flex. So Semi Flex is stiffer, but compared to the control, the outdoor sample actually on this feels like it hardened up. And definitely stiffer, it did curl a little bit. Kind of see the shadow here for that. And so for outdoor exposure, um, the two that were outside definitely darkened up a lot. And it's weird that Semi-Flex feels like it lost some of its flexibility, whereas Ninja Flex maybe is about the same. I'd have to talk to Ninja Tech about testing these. But TPUs would be good for your outdoor applications if you don't mind the color loss. So these are PETGs, uh, so this is um, ColorFab XT NGEN and HT. So this one could be heat treated, but I didn't do it for this one. Um, I have a video where I posted that. Um, last one is, so plain PETG. Um, this sample did take a dive and broke and I lost one pieces. So the PVA um, material is, is used for dissolving support material. And you really have to keep this dry to print it. Um, I think the sample I put outside was actually printed kind of blobby and worse, but it dissolved after about three to six months. 
the glass wool polypropylene. Um, this stuff's really great for like industrial use, but when it was outside, I think it just ended up in a bad spot and took a lot of hits. The carbon fiber PETG actually held out really well. Um, I think this was only outside for maybe three years, so it had very little damage. Lay brick, I remember printing very rough, um, but also it's very was a very brittle material to handle. Isun P the Bravo. So this was actually kind of pretty interesting and definitely weathered weird. Uh, PETG carbon fiber. Um, polycarbonate plus ABS. Labric composite. So this was actually popular for a little bit. I don't know what happened to the company. Uh, this is Envent Nylon. Definitely aged. And with Recreator coming becoming popular with the PETD, PET pop bottles being printed. Um, this is actually from an Italian company called 3MRT, I think. Let me correct that there. But definitely became more brittle as time went on. So for the hemp-based PLAs, um, I've got Prototype Invent. This is HIPS plus about 10% hemp fiber. Definitely yellowed and some of the specs kind of, I don't know if I can get this in frame. Um, so the Katniss filament from Italy uh, kind of felt like cardboard when printed. It definitely warped a lot and you could definitely make an argument that this is definitely biodegradable. So this would be a good thing for like card um, packaging or um, maybe some other biodegradable uses like in seed plant planting or something. Uh, but the hemp-based ones definitely biodegrade outdoors. Seven years. Um, this filament experiment has been interesting because I could see how the filaments have definitely changed in terms of uh, the pigmentation and durability from seven years ago to even three or five years ago. So they're all um, posted up on this board, which we'll be presenting at uh, Recommend Rip Rap Festival. So I'll have a table there. And if you're, you want to see this in person, I'll definitely come by. So I've got the organic PLAs, composites, miscellaneous TPUs, all the PLA, all the PETGs, ABS. Along here, I have all the miscellaneous filaments, nylon, PET, and the hemp-based filaments.